Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Banished. Uh, you might notice that the town looks a bit different um, than last time. This is because I kind of messed up the last recording. I think I pushed the wrong button or something with OBS broke, but um, the video ended up being like zero bytes tall or zero bytes big, so there was pretty much no video recorded at all. <coughs> Which means we lost the footage of me finally uh, getting the town hall built. Um, and I started building a trading post over here. We'll get to that once it is done, but let me explain the town hall first. So uh, why was I so happy to get the town hall? Well, first off, because it allows you to see all those statistics here, although you have those over here as well. So that's not the... Uh, a big deal, although you see how many are clothed and how many are educated. We do pretty good here, we are pretty much all in rags, <laughs> so that's that's not too well, but it's okay. Uh, one of the most important things I think there is about the town hall is this production window, and most importantly this um, food production here, because this tells you exactly how much you produced and how much you used. Which means you can easily see if you're doing well. We're actually doing well for this year. <coughs> you have a small, a very, 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 very small. Um, what's the word now? Uh, a small plus. We are, we are making a tiny. Oh no, actually we don't. We used more than we uh, produced, so we are kind of in trouble. And we might want to rectify that as soon as possible. <coughs> I can also increase the limits here if I wanted to. to. But we currently don't. Okay, there's the uh, total amount of things we have. It includes everything we once had, like um, potatoes, which is the uh, food we started with, but we don't have any of that left. We also have a bunch of graphs, those are not too important. And nomads, those are those happen sometimes. You, you sometimes get nomads who wish to join your uh, town. And this is where you can either accept or deny them. Accepting them has uh, an advantage. They are usually uh, relatively large groups of, uh, I think, about 10 or more people. <coughs> so they will instantly fill, or they will help you a lot with filling most or even all of your jobs in town. Although most of them are uneducated, so you might want to keep that in mind. Uh, they might also bring diseases, so it's best not to accept nomads until you have a, a clinic. Which is one of the things we're going to build as soon as possible. I'm probably more interested in building the trading post, then I will go for a church and a graveyard. You don't need both of those uh, at the same time, but I prefer to have them both um, built relatively close to each other, so we get our happiness back up and um, we don't lose that much once we have the first deaths occurring. And then I'll go for the clinic, in the hopes that we won't uh, get a disease earlier. And finally we have trade items. This is uh, seeds and livestock. Note that livestock will need a pasture very soon, otherwise they will just die in, those, in this little pen over here. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, seeds are just there. Once we have bought them, we have them until the town dies. Okay, we need more iron. <coughs> I don't have 40 iron. I don't like that. I would prefer to have 40 iron. Could you possibly start over here? Where's the iron? Here's the iron. I should probably expand a bit beyond that river here. Is there any iron on this side? Let's see. Not really. Oh, there, there is some. Okay. Uh, I also think this fishing dock is placed rather poorly because... Oh no, actually we are, we're doing well. I didn't expect them to make that much food. <coughs> We've been having some, some relatively poor seasons before. Like you see here uh, we were at 300 and below. I didn't like that. I thought it was... Um, yeah, it, it was very low. Also we uh, sorted out the uh, storage cart. It has been removed. Which is fine. I was hoping for that to happen, because now we can actually build something else here. Also, we need fuel. So, um, 
few things need to be done here. First off, let's build some more things. We need... Before I get to the uh, church, I will probably want a tailor. Just to keep people uh, clothed again. Okay, we need the iron from there. <coughs> This is kind of weird, uh, kind of difficult to manage now because I don't know where exactly it's best to start next or to, to work next. Also, didn't I just tell people to get over there to work? Yeah, I know we are pretty low on logs, we're also low on fuel, so I suppose I will make one of my laborers a uh, woodcutter again. We don't need a blacksmith right now. We're also too short on iron to actually make use of a blacksmith. We're also too low on wood, so uh, screw this. I might, however, sort this out by actually sending out one of my uh, people to be a forester. By the way, the forester will also uh, gather a few other resources in his area if there are any. So if we had like a bunch of iron uh, things in here, he would also get rid of those slowly, very slowly. And eventually, yeah, he'd eventually remove them. But until then, he would like produce very small amounts of iron, and they would actually show up in this uh, production thing here. I don't know if that's a bug or not. I suppose it's uh, there because he tries to uh, establish a completely forested area, which I suppose is a good idea. Oh, by the way, I increased the amount of um, herbs I want simply because I wish to use those as a trading commodity. So I need a few of those. I need more of those to uh, be sitting around. I also need more iron. I badly need more iron. It might be one of the things I'm going to trade for. Okay, we have some here. Now if people could go over and uh, pick that up, I would be greatly uh, appreciative. Okay, one person is freezing. That's not good. They should sort this out soon, though, because we still have heated homes. Yeah. Okay, we are low on the on a whole lot of things, and I really dislike that. Yeah, this uh, this symbol here, which you probably saw there, means that there are no uh, raw materials for this guy to work with, so he can't do his job because of that. Where are you carrying things? Um, where exactly do you think you're going with that fish? Hello? He's probably picking up more stuff. Okay, what's our scooter? We have five students, we have a whole lot of deer over here. And yeah, this is the time when I would probably want some more, um, some more people. Also, it seems that building the uh, barn over here I think I did that last episode as well. Has helped with our food production. Well, we, we made we made thousand vendors in here last season. That's quite impressive. And a whole lot of leather as well. Thirty leather. We should be good there. Fuel. We, we need logs. And as I, uh, as I want to say, this would be the time when I could probably use and uh, feed through like. Uh, five more people so a small bunch of migrants would be fine because then I'd have more laborers which means I could get the uh, town economy going better also the, all those buildings have a little um, animation here so you see those guys are fishing well, I suppose it would be more efficient if they used the bloody boats over here but who am I to judge that <coughs> okay we are low on everything but food and herbs so uh, we're good on medicine, we don't have anyone to really use it, because we still don't have a clinic, but we have medicine. <coughs> and my laborers are currently busy doing something of an indescript nature. <coughs> I don't know why I'm so short on iron this time. Uh, 
doesn't happen usually. I usually have a fair amount of things sitting around. I suppose it's because I didn't um, mine a lot in advance. Oh, wh why did, how did I miss that? Let's actually go for this iron here first. Simply because it's, um, it's the closest. So if you could pick that up, please. I'd be more than happy. I'll probably clean this entire area then, because we also need stones and we badly need logs. Actually, screw this. I'm going to make one of those guys a forester. <coughs> the thing is, I don't know if um, replanted trees will also spawn um, things for the gatherers, so I noticed this in my past games that um, Having a forester makes the uh, production from your gathering hut drop pretty hardly, uh, pretty hard. Also, the production of your herbalist, mostly that. Although I suppose that might also be because I over harvested. But really, I don't know. I'm not sure on that. So don't quote me on it. By all means, don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on anything I do here. I am not an expert in this game. Well, I hope we will now produce some logs, and I need those more than I actually I do need food as well, but I am actually we're making headway here. Look at that. Let's check the production. Yeah, we're actually producing a uh, bit of a, uh, a surplus, that's the word I was looking for. <coughs> so we're doing well now. Cutting down the ways here. Wow. I really forgot to uh, disable my touchpad. How'd that happen? I usually don't forget that. <coughs> it just just bothers me most of the time because I uh, I have my hand on the keyboard of my laptop and for some reason I always hit the touchpad. I have giant hands, so uh, at some point my my mouse cursor just jumps around like crazy and that really annoys me. Also look at that, the trading post is almost finished. Once we have that done, I will uh, explain to you how that works. <coughs> what are we doing here? Takes a lot of building time. So the trading post is useful for a variety of things. <coughs> First of all, it is a... Uh, well, it, it's uh, obviously used for trading. We don't need more than one of that. Because... Um, you never have more than one trader. At least I never had that. And I don't think they actually... I don't think they have the point in having more than one trading post. I think you have like one trader a year and he will not stay that long. So you might want to get going with the trading as soon as possible. Uh, things have to be put to the trading post in advance. So once the trader has arrived you can make some minor adjustments to the uh, storage here. But I would strongly suggest not to. I would strongly suggest to, to have things prepared in advance. <coughs> because especially if you don't have a uh, full uh, crew here, like a full... Uh, uh, have the full... I don't know how many traders we can actually have in a, in a trading post. Then it might take a while to uh, adjust the inventory and to maybe Im uh, emergency stock large quantities of, st of things especially if they have to be hauled from the other end of the map so yeah just just do that when you have the time by the way it will also try to uh, restock that so what we want to do here is we want to stock some of that we can use a uh, those arrows to adjust in the amount of 20. I can also click in here and uh, type in a desired count. This is the desired count. It is by no means the amount we have available. Oh, we can have six traders. I can actually go up to... Well, I can... That's quite impressive. I can have up to 20. I will never need that many though. Actually, I think I always go with one because that's pretty much all I need. So once we have a trader, let's let's see where he is. Uh, can I browse through them? Oh, I have to do that. 
Okay, so Webstalin. This is uh, Webstalin. You can see your trade on this little uh, cart he's pushing. We see the inventory. He has 80 herbs. So this cart is uh, giving him quite the ability to carry things. Now he doesn't have them anymore. Wonder how that happened. Okay, so now our trader is carrying things over here. Shut the hell up. <coughs> okay, I hope this episode turns out well. Uh, okay, we have that trader. Uh, you have a certain storage, but it's quite huge, so you can store a lot of things in your trading post, which means it's also uh, capable of doubling as your as kind of a secondary storage point. Just uh, temporary. You, you might want to keep in mind that this stuff here is not going to be used by our citizens. So if you have, if you store all your food in here, you will starve even though you are technically completely full. Even if your trading post is bursting with food, your people will starve because they won't take it out. So if you use it, you might want to consider that uh, in times of need you might want to empty it out. I can empty it out just as well. The one trader will then carry the things to the next storage facility and everything will be well. Note that uh, traders will value different things. So uh, you see here herbs have a trade value of 4. I think fire would also has a pretty decent trade value. Uh, hide coats, iron tools, uh, the better versions of those, so leather coats and steel tools will also go very well. Uh, food and stuff not so well. Resources are okay, but you might want to hold on to those. Except maybe logs. Uh, not every trader will buy everything though, so you'll have to... It's it's best to have some sort of variety on, on hand to be prepared for whatever your traders might want. Now we're going up to 200 here because many things are quite expensive. <coughs> so you have this trade value here. This is the value for one of those, so I could... This is this is a bartering system, so traders come here, they have a, a certain item, they have a cost per item, and I have to match that or surpass it. I can also uh, auto-purchase, which is uh, kind of nice, I will do that when the merchant leaves. And we'll see how much I want of that. It's kind of useful to uh, automate things. And I can also place an order f uh, with a merchant. Merchants, uh, there are a bunch of merchants, and they all sell different things. So, for, for example, if there is a seed merchant, I can ask him to bring me uh, some seeds I don't have yet. Those will be more expensive on his next visit, but he is more likely to bring them. Or I could, for example, ask for a certain thing I, I want. Like if I needed iron tools, if I needed tools in general, I could ask for those and he would bring some of that next time. <coughs> okay, let's unpause that here. And that's pretty much how trading works. We'll, I'll explain more when the time has come. I will probably not buy food for a while. What I will do is probably build more houses. Although I currently don't have the uh, resources for that, so what I will do instead is... I'll just tell my citizens to uh, remove everything from here. Strip mine this area completely. Leave nothing alive. <coughs> Okay, we're out of uh, logs again, and I'm going to cut the episode here, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!